Chris, I wanted to get your take on does the unrest we've seen in Spain and the potential Italy election that we're going to see as well influence the ECB at all? I don't think at this stage it'll influence it. I mean, it'll, it'll be perhaps sort of just about in the back of its mind. Um, and it'll be interesting to see how the vote goes uh, in the Senate on Thursday in Spain. Um, but I think at the moment it won't be a key focus for the ECB. Their focus will be on the, on the Eurozone economy, on inflation, and on really how they're going to pan out this tapering plan that they've been really telling markets about for, for an awful long time. Um, so there's a real debate between size of, of tapering, but also the time frame over which they're going to uh, continue the next stage of, uh, of quantitative easing. They'll still be yeah. doing it, of course. And no more can Mr. Draghi say, we've not discussed tapering. We've not discussed tapering. Uh, so what's your base case? Well, I think um, the base case is they reduce uh, the QE amounts by about 20 billion. And um, perhaps we're looking at sort of nine or 12 months program maybe a little bit longer um, but really I think all things will be in the air and and the markets will listen closely for that but also for what Draghi says his tone in the press conference I think will be critical and and how he handles the questions hey Chris we talked about messy politics across Europe for quite a while now how do you think he's going to navigate the, the latest rupture in Spain well, um, how do I think the ECB is going to navigate it, or how do I think it will? Markets will navigate well, it. Well, let's Sorry. do both. Let's begin with President Draghi and how he's going to navigate it in the uh, in the news conference. Well, I think I mean I think he will say it's largely a local issue, and as long as there's um, uh, no disruption in the bond market. So if you look at Spanish bond spreads, they haven't widened in the last week or two, quite the reverse. So I think he'll look to that, and if there's no disruption in markets, he'll just largely put that issue to one side and and, and call it a local issue. If if it does become a, an issue in terms of widening spreads in the, in the Spanish bond market, then the ECB will get more interested. But at the moment, it's remarkable how quiet and how quiescent the Spanish. Spanish bond market's been about this issue.